Hi everyone, welcome to the Modern Nest Lifestyle YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you everything that we got for our puppy Arthur. It's important to have everything that you need before you bring a puppy home because those first few weeks can be pretty crazy. So it's best to be really prepared if possible. So I'm just going to go over everything that we bought for Arthur and you can find out more about these items and you can find a list of everything that you need if you follow the link in the description below. So to start, we got him a few different kinds of treats. These all have very few ingredients. You don't want to find anything with a lot of additives or fillers. So we got Nakana, Free Run Duck, Origin Boar, and these are just freeze-dried wild cod. Um, so we also got a first aid kit for him just in case, uh, in case he needs it, as well as a 3% food grade hydrogen peroxide, which is also a first aid item. You can find out all about these items and some more information in the link below. We got him some sweaters, uh, just a sweater actually and a raincoat. I don't really recommend buying your puppy any clothes before we get them because we aren't really sure actually how big Arthur's going to be when we bring him home. He was very small when we met him the first time, but we aren't sure if he's gonna grow that much before you bring him home. So we might need to return these items. So it might be best just to wait for those things until you actually have your puppy so you know what size they are. We got this Nature's Miracle. This is just a cleaning spray if he has an accident. It's made specifically for uh, animals and urine and spills like that. So it will neutralize all the odors, which is really important. We have these dog wipes. These are earth rated dog wipes we got for Arthur. They are compostable. They also have a pH balance of specifically for dogs. Um, you want something that will be balanced for their skin and their fur to make sure that they, while you're cleaning them, they aren't getting too dry or anything like that. We have his shampoo here. It's a two-in-one tearless puppy shampoo and conditioner. We also have an ear wash for him as well, which we'll use twice a week since he's a floppy-eared breed. It's more important to get all of that dirt and moisture out of his ears to prevent any infection. We have here a really lightweight harness and a lightweight leash for him. We got a harness for him because it's important when he's really small not to put too much pressure on his neck because that can cause injury when he's just a little puppy. And even when he's bigger, if your dog really pulls, you want to have a harness or something else for them that won't put too much pressure on their neck to prevent injury. We also have this really lightweight leash. We will upgrade. He's going to be a bit bigger, a medium golden doodle. So he's going to might be around 45 pounds or so when he's older. So we'll need something a little bit sturdier. We do have this for when he's a puppy though, because it's really lightweight. We want something that he'll be comfortable with transitioning to wearing a leash since he hasn't been wearing one so far. We have these, these are just earth rated poo bags for him and they attach right onto his leash. We actually bought this whole box of 900 of them because if you have the space in your closet, you just can't have enough of these. You will go through all of them eventually. We got for him this dog treat pouch for training. So it just kind of leaves you hands free when you're training, it attaches right at the hip. We have this other leash for him. This is a flexi retractable leash, so we got this for him. And this is a training leash we got on Amazon. You can find it in the link below. We also bought this sort of soft, lightweight collar for Arthur, just for when he's a puppy. Again, he hasn't been wearing a collar, so we just want to help him transition to that stage in his life as gently as possible. We have here a clicker. We are planning on clicker training Arthur, so we just, when he does something right, we click at the moment that he does it and then we treat him to let him know what he's doing that we like. And we have a couple toys for him. These are both Kong toys. These Kongs are both meant for puppies. So they're a little bit softer material than the original red Kongs. So once he's a bit older, we will transition him to a 
red Kong, the original one, is a little bit harder than this because we don't want him to chew through the Kong and swallow any bits or anything like that. So it's important to make sure once your puppy gets stronger that you do transition them to a harder Kong. But we have, these are gentler for puppy teeth. So at the same time, when he's smaller, you want something softer. So we have this puppy Kong for when he's little. And this Kong makes a little binky toy as well. That is just, it's too cute. We have here nail clippers. These are shiny pet nail clippers. They have a little quick guard. So the quickest little bundle of nerves at the base of the nail. So just to protect that, to make sure that we don't accidentally clip it when we're clipping his nails, it has that included attached to the nail clipper. Um, so we got those as well as this for grooming. It's a very soft bristle brush for him. It's a slicker brush actually. It's very soft so it's not a firm slicker brush that he'll probably need when he gets older and he has more fur that we'll want to keep detangled. Right now he's really small, has sensitive skin so we got this really soft slicker brush for him. Um, one more thing we have is this fresh breath. It's a Ha, includes a finger brush, a toothbrush, as well as a cleaning gel. So you want a cleaning gel that's made specifically for dogs. Uh, toothpaste is made for humans can have ingredients in it that can be harmful for dogs. So you wanna make sure you get one that's specifically made for dogs. We also have this big box here of extra large, they're absorbent pee pads for pets. So we got these, we'll keep them kind of around the house. We do have a pee pad for him on the balcony that's a grass pad, but since that's outside when he's really small, he might have some trouble controlling his bladder enough to get him all the way outside and make sure he's in the right spot. So just to make it a little bit easier for him for the potty training, we got these so we can put them just inside the door in case he doesn't make it out, then at least he can go on this instead. We do have as well these bowls for him. So these bowls have little legs. You can see we're on the smallest legs right now because he's still really small, but we can transition him to the medium sized legs when he gets a little taller and then the tall legs as well so for when he's fully grown. Um, so that way he's not bending down too much. It helps him with digestion and it helps him. This whole tray here will help to make sure there's no mess on the floor when he's eating, if he does happen to be a messy eater. This is a book that I got. I cannot recommend this book enough. He has all kinds of information in this book. It has dog training, choosing a dog, choosing a breed, all of that stuff. So pretty much everything you need to know about dogs is in this book. And I really like his philosophies around dog training and dog behavior and stuff like that. I've gone through so many different books and audio books and podcasts about dogs in the past few months when we've been looking for Arthur, but this is by far my favorite. It really just has everything you need to know about dogs um, if you're getting a new puppy um, and to keep it for tips and tricks if something comes up when you have your puppy as well. So it's really important to be very prepared when you're bringing a puppy home for the first time. You don't wanna be having those last minute shopping trips, scrambling to get anything that you might need when you have a little puppy to take care of. So it's really important just to have everything in, you, in your home already if you might need it. Um, that way you can really enjoy getting to know your puppy and helping them get used to your home in those first few weeks rather than scrambling to get any last minute items. So if you wanted to take a look at any of these items here, you can just follow the link in the description below. If you got any value out of this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to follow Arthur's journey. If you have any questions about anything here, please leave a comment below and I will see you in the next video.